alaikum. Uh, my name is Rashid Mehdi. I am from Detroit, but I live in Ohio. This is my sister, Mahasan. alaikum. This is my wife, Kyria. Um, you can go your reflections first. Well, overall, I've had the best experience ever. Um, it's been the best. It's been great meeting so many new people. It's been great um, just coming together with all the Muslims coming together to do these sacred rites that have been passed on from our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam for years, for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, and even before that, going back to Abraham's time. So it's great to have these type of you know traditions and for all the Muslims to be coming together to do the um, to do these same things. Um, I didn't mind the crowds. I just thought it was great to be amongst all the Muslims and believers. Um, it was great to meet new people. Um, it was a really humbling experience. Like I said, it was just to realize, you know, like I said, sometimes we see ourselves as more important than we really are in our daily lives, but just to see ourselves amongst everybody and we're all here for the same purpose and we're all going to be judged essentially before a lot. So it's no one's better or, you know, different than anybody else. We're all here just trying to do these same things and gain a lot of pleasure, inshallah. Um, it was great to be spending this time with my brother and my sister-in-law. We had a great time. Um, I'm really going to miss all my friends. If I could give some advice to anyone um, coming in the future, inshallah, I would just say that the, one of the, the most important things is just to take with you your uh, righteous conduct because it's just, the Hajj is just really a test. You know, we do these rites and everything, but uh, there's just so many tests along the way. There's so many things that are just just a test, like the, the, that are just built into the Hajj. Like even when we have to go stone the jam ride, you can't do that until after Zuhur. And that's like the hottest time of the day. So it's going to be a test for people to see how they're going to how they're going to act, how they're going to treat each other. It's just, you know, we always just have to remember to treat each other the way that we're supposed to, the way that our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam instructed us to treat each other and you know, and even being here with the city and you know, there's a lot of, you know, debris and stuff all over, but that's still a test for us. So how are we gonna respond? Are we just gonna, you know, fall in line with that or you know, or are we gonna try to do better or do the way that we know that we're supposed to do? And then one last thing is that um I was remembering when the Molana was saying about if the about how the Hujuj, when they come there, like a report card for the upcoming year and how the believers, the state of the Ummah and how that is. And so if if the group that we've been here with here at Sarah International, if that's any reflection on uh, the Ummah as a whole, then I think, inshallah, we may have a pretty good year because I've, I've just witnessed so much... Um, uh, brotherhood and sisterhood between everybody. Everybody's trying to help each other. Everybody's being really um, kind to each other and going out of their way to be kind. And um, and I think that, that if that's a reflection of the Ummah, then that's a good sign for things to come, inshallah. inshallah. All right, so my reflections on Hajj. Um, I went from some extreme lows, unlike my sister when I, I, I hit lows when I was saw some of the things that happened at Hodge. Like it's not all it's not all peachy here. Some there's some things here that may get to you. Um, and when I when I was seeing these things happen within these um, holy precincts, it, it it took me for a low. I won't lie because I was looking at it, thinking about the state of the Ummah and the reason why the Ummah is how it is now. It's you can see why. There's a lot of pushing, shoving. You know, it's it's sad. So I, I, I hit some lows, but alhamdulillah, I was able to also hit some extreme highs when I tried to reflect on the blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given me. Um, just first off, inviting inviting me here and accepting that invitation, inshallah. And inshallah, he accepts my hajj and forgives me my sins. Um, so when I reflect on those things, I'm, you know, I'm... I'm, 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 I have, the, I'm on this high. So that, that was the good thing about Hodge. Um, the advice that I would give to people is, there's so many people here, and since the rewards for doing the good deeds here are multiplied, 
you have so many opportunities to get as many blessings as you can possibly get. You have millions of people walking around you. So if you do come here, say assalamu alaikum to as many people as you can stay into. If you can pick up some trash, which there will be plenty of, pick it up. If you can help people in your group or just any um, hajis, then, then do so because that's the that, that's what it should be about. And so there's um, all these opportunities to actually receive so many blessings. So that would be my advice to anyone coming here, just to try to gain as much, as, try to get as, as many blessings out of it as possible. Um, I won't talk as long as my sister, because I'm not sure how long this DVD is. So I will pass it on to my wife. Um, I. My reflections on the 2013 Sarah International Hodge trip, um, for me it was a very, very humbling experience. Um, just seeing the, the different people from all over the country. I've never traveled outside of the United States of America and in doing so, you see how extremely blessed and privileged we are. Um, just walking through the, the, streets, the streets of Minna, um, seeing the people like from all over the world camped out, sleeping on the ground, giving, I mean, I don't know what their life was like, was like back at home, but giving everything up purely for the sake of the life. Like coming because that's, 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 I mean, that's one of our pillars. So, um, I don't know, it was just, it was a very humbling experience for me. Um, and it was very eye-opening to see how others outside of the United States live and how, um, no other way to put it, how well we have it. Um, so that was, that was very humbling and eye-opening for me. Advice to future huge um, Haji's, um, I don't know, I guess, hum humble yourself, like, know that no matter what class you came from, like, when you get here, we're all on the same level, do what you can to help your fellow brothers and sisters, um, I don't know, it's just, it, it was a very humbling experience for me, I don't have any other words to describe it, but it was very humbling and I I appreciate the experience. I appreciated the time that I was able to spend with my brother, my husband and my sister-in-law. Um, like they said, we, we enjoyed ourselves. Um, we love traveling to uh, Medina. It was beautiful. So there, yes. Words can't describe how beautiful the Prophet's mosque was and how peaceful it was there. So um, we really enjoyed ourselves. And inshallah, one day, Come back. We'll be blessed to come back. Alhamdulillah, we made hajj. We made hajj.